All right, so we have a HP desktop. It has a NVIDIA processor, a co-processor for the video, and a AMD processor. So what we're going to do is turn this on. We see all the lights turn on. Everything does what it's supposed to do. Uh, we're going to take it over here to the screen, and we see that the uh, video doesn't sync on it. Um, everything appears to... Uh, do what it's supposed to do over here. We're seeing that the orange light's coming on for the hard drive. Power light's still on. Uh, everything was doing what it was supposed to. We got system opening up here. Um, everything's doing what it's supposed to do as far as that's concerned. Nothing plugged in as far as that is. Uh, we'll check in the back. And we see that it's only one single uh, video input so what we're going to do is take this apart and uh, check and make sure that this uh, NVIDIA video chipset isn't the issue and why it's not booting but we'll figure it out soon enough and that's where we're going from now okay so the first thing we see when we open this up is uh, that the board looks like it's perfectly fine except for this one single capacitor right here that uh, is up against this uh, this is a v-core capacitor it supplies power to the processor it's actually blown we can see the top of it is actually uh, actually leaking fluid out of it so that capacitor could be an issue we'll need to change that out but uh, our video chipsets right here and our memory is right here so uh, with this being DDR2 rem memory just the same as in a HP laptop we need to check the memory make sure it's fine and check the uh, video chipset processor co-processor that's probably an all-in-one and we need to check that capacitor so we're gonna work with all these things and see where it leads us all right so we have our system on the table here we're about to replay the chip and um, you know like even with our uh, laptops these desktops uh, had the same chip same heat profile same distance same procedure so we're right about to set this one up to do it um, now we'll move over here and see that we've changed this capacitor already um, these capacitors all looked good when we checked them uh, we checked them with an ESR uh, meter so we changed this one that was actually blown that one's set we cleaned the board up and now we're setting it to uh, do the uh, reflow process so we're going to reflow this then put it back together and see what happens all right, back to our computer here. Same unit. We're gonna turn it on. Uh, system power's on. We come over here to the screen. Let's see what happens. Most likely, we should get display, which we do. So we see the system starting up. It's probably gonna give us a keyboard error because we don't have one on. The okay, let's see. Blinking cursor. Let's see that it starts up. System appears to be going. Let's see what we get out of it. Looks like it's going in the Vista. We just had to see it come up to a screen and not blue screen. Now what we did was we changed that capacitor, reflowed the chipset, and uh, checked the memory. So same as what we would do out of a laptop, we did it on this desktop, uh, pretty common with these desktops, especially nowadays. They had the same processors, um, same chipsets on the desktops as they do on the laptops, but we're going to see 
what we can get out of this. Let's see that we uh, get to start up. Being as it's the first time since after it crashed, it may take it a few. Got a screen there. Got it starting up. So we're going to say that this one's done. We're going to say it's complete. Good to go. Um, we'll say we're done with this. Um, we're going to see it start up to either a login screen or um, a desktop. Either way, it's booting into the operating system and it's good to go. So we're going to call this one complete.